be like, hmm, I want to know about mushrooms, and I don't think I'd come across that right in the beginning, you know? So yeah. that's pretty awesome. That's not like a general knowledge that everyone knows about. That's pretty yeah, cool. the, the, general, the, the general knowledge part is really just like knowing the cycle. Right. Like the, the mushroom yeah. spore, mycelium. Um, but then like those other little facts there, I've like just kind of learned That's ever awesome. since. That's awesome. It just keeps going on. From and it's just like I I just always thought that was just really cool. Yeah, that is that, really cool. That like mother like nature's figured out a way to symbiotically um, exist help like each that. Other? Yeah, help each other out <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, it's like um, what's that movie Avatar where like everything's connected yeah. into one. It's kind of true in a way. <laughs> it it, it yeah, really is when now, you, when yeah. you think about it. Like, what should we talk about? <laughs> hmm. Do you have any ideas for yourself? No, I would just want to talk about me personally, but I don't think um, it's being geared towards that is uh, talking about how important the environment is itself. Because without it, we're not alive. <laughs> True. It is our home, and we just throw garbage out the window, and we live right on the water. And throwing the garbage out the window eventually is going to make it into the ocean a lot faster than it would somewhere else. Yeah. You know? And it's awful, and it's disgusting and what you want to throw garbage in your front yard why would you mm -hmm. throw it in a park or on the street for someone else to pick up and the idea too that people have that like they think that nature is something separate from like human because beings because it's not in front of them constantly yeah. 24 7 it's they have that problem with a lot of things people ignore all types of issues because it's not something that's directly in front of them and yeah. the, the environment is a very serious issue because it's it's our very being. It's mm -hmm. how we live. It's how we survive. And it's not taken seriously at all when it's mm -hmm. something very, very, very serious. <laughs> very essential to our, our survival. Yeah. Because all it takes, like, for instance, um, like with like temperature changing for an example, like an example, like all it really takes is for like it takes two, two degrees, degrees for yeah. our entire planet just to collapse. We already mm -hmm. went that one degree. Yeah. We're already there. Our, I mean, the coral reefs and stuff like that are bleaching at an enormous rate. I mean, mm -hmm. the El Nino didn't help, but it's we're a very serious impact on the mm -hmm. environment we're having through all different kinds of ways. I mean, more than one, and we, we're not even able to eliminate one of those. Mm -hmm. We thought we would be by doing um, cleaner energy sources like wind power. Um, people thought like geothermal. Geothermal, yeah. Yeah. Um, that relatively a lot of places where they do fracking it helps but other than that it's not really that clean of an energy source because yeah. you're still going into the ground but like um that uh i just lost my train of thought but yeah that's uh it sucks <laughs> yeah one of my one of uh i used to work at a health food store and the guy one of the guys i worked with um he's like in his mid-70s and mm -hmm. he's been like scuba diving like throughout his whole life mm -hmm. And he's been scuba diving, I think, since, like, the 80s. And he was telling me that, like, back he back years and, like, decades ago when he used to go scuba diving, like, the reefs were, like, beautiful. Right. And, like, just really, like, in the past, like, 10, like, 20 years, like, it went from, like, coral reefs everywhere to just, like, they're gone. Right. Like, yeah, they're... they're and people are like, well, that's a natural cycle, but it's not. <laughs> For, it's to, going at such an immense rate yeah. that it's um, um, it's mind blowing. I mean, we're killing mass amounts of species. Everyone's like, well, there's there's twenty thousand different types of species of fish, and there's a hundred and something mm -hmm. whatever insects, and it's just like, but that's not the point. Yeah. <laughs> They're and, all going to start going. I mean, every and, second, an acre of land is being destroyed in the Amazon. And I think about that, rainforests are our lungs and we're destroying mm -hmm. them per second. I mean, an acre, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or Take probably more than an acre, probably like seven acres. <laughs> I've, but, I've heard like some pretty outrageous numbers yeah, on that. Yeah, it's just not something to take so lightly. That yeah. we're taking very lightly. <laughs> it's just, just brush it off. We'll take care of it later. Yeah, that's what everyone, that's because it's not, it's not affecting them at this moment Directly, in time. Yeah. But, I mean, it's cool to live in the moment, but, like, there's other people that you're living in that moment with that mm -hmm. you need to consider. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and consider, like, the long-term effects of certain things. Definitely. I mean, you have a goal to move forward in life. Might as well have a place to move forward in because mm -hmm. we're not going to have a planet for much longer. Mm -hmm. Well, it will be a long time, but we might not be here. <laughs> yeah, and really just to... Oh, and actually what you were talking about before, that's what I wanted to mention, like, when you were saying, like, oh, of course, like species die off and yeah. go extinct like the reality is like yeah not like ever since the beginning of time like this over like 99 percent 99.9 percent of species have uh become extinct since then like those species that lived back then aren't still alive now 
but the reality is the the rate in which species are going extinct currently right, is not just that, we're not giving them the chance to evolve to and adapt evolve, and yeah. change because like the dinosaurs are drastic. saying that alligators and turtles and birds are all from the Jurassic period mm -hmm. and they've all evolved to that. We're not giving them the chance to even move forward. I mean, the uh, black rhinos just went extinct and yeah. people's response was, oh, um, they will uh, they go extinct all the time. That's important. And Mother Nature will just come up with another animal that will put it in its place. No, it won't because it never had the time to adapt and mm -hmm. create a new feature to live like that's just i don't i yeah. don't get it i don't know if it's being undereducated or if it's just n purely not caring <laughs> i feel like it's a combination of uh mi the way we're raised maybe not not having the education for it but also the misinformation on it as well well, yeah, because it is very contradicting because everyone's like, well, this is going to happen. And the people are like, no, this is going to happen. You know, and then you have religion in the middle where people are like, it's all going to be OK. <laughs> so, yeah, like because the reality is there are um, like there are like certain uh, like people who have interests with like, for instance, like fossil fuel industries and uh, like tobacco industries. Like they have their own they have their own agenda because that's where they make their money. That's where their profit is. Mm -hmm. Um, and of course, they're going to invest in things that make sense for their that make sense for their their company and that are going to help their profit out mm -hmm. their profits out. Right, we're concerned so, about ourselves. Yeah, so of course, like they're not going to be um, promoting, like for instance, that like pesticides Don't smoke are cigarettes bad because or, the amount of pesticides that are put on tobacco kills you and the environment. <laughs> The, the most, runoff is ridiculous because most of our tobacco farms, too, are in the Midwest, mm -hmm. and the runoff goes right into the Mississippi River, which goes into the Gulf, mm -hmm. which has a very sensitive ecosystem, and it's just killing it off. And you're not going to see, like, the, the, the big tobacco companies being like, oh, hey, let's go do a study on the We're runoff and you. see, like... <laughs> Let's yeah. see how bad it is, these things that well, we're they're doing. not going to promote that it gives you cancer either. <laughs> yeah. So it's the same thing with the environment. So I think it's like a combination of misinformation, uh, the lack of caring from some people. and Yeah, but that, there has to be an initial source for someone not caring. So I'm going to go with the way they were raised. <laughs> yeah. and, and the media has a lot to do with it also. It's not a serious... People pick and choose what they want to tell people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's very, it that way. yeah, it's very like cherry-picked on... Uh, it's like going on Facebook. You like certain pages to see that certain stuff. Yeah. And people, it's not like you generally have to be interested in something to even care about it, you know? Mm -hmm. So you you have all your pages and you go through and mine, for instance, is all yoga and everything mm -hmm. to have to do with the environment. And then someone else's might have to do with rap and, I don't know, engineering. Yeah. So people kind of shelter themselves into what they want to think, not realizing what's really going on in the outside world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it's got a really big effect on everyone. Yeah.